Hi, I'm Dr. Mukda Bandavar, obstetrician and gynecologist working in Pace Hospital, High Tech City, Hyderabad. So today we are here to talk about medical termination of pregnancy, also called as abortion. Deliberate termination of pregnancy before the viability of fetus by medical or surgical method is called as induction of abortion. In many countries, this process of abortion is not a legal method. But in India, in 1971, some laws or one act came up because of which termination of pregnancy is legalized process in India. That, that name is Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act in 1971. There were many amendments and revision in this act. The recent one was done in 2021. Deliberate termination of pregnancy by a registered medical practitioner to uh, in the favor of mother is protected under this act. Various grounds were laid down under which legal termination of pregnancies were possible. There were four important grounds. First was to for in the favor of mother where it continuation of pregnancy could be uh, it, uh, could be causing some grave injury to the physical and mental health of the mother like for example if she is a cardiac patient or some psychiatric illness or as a patient of epilepsy a cancer patient or there are many other reasons eugenic reasons in which an ultrasound report is showing uh, for the fetus or the baby to have some anomalies because of which the born kid could ha could be handicapped mentally or physically for life in such cases, the pregnancy can be terminated uh, at any stage. Now, if a, uh, a rape victim, uh, whether a minor or a major, can terminate the pregnancy. Now, the last ground was social grounds, in which most of the pregnancies were covered. Like, uh, if the pregnant woman uh, is not wanting or unplanned pregnancy is there, or if there is a failure of contraception, is also covered in this act. MTPs can be performed only in a government-run institutions or institutions which are uh, established by the government or private hospitals which are certified by the government can only have uh, these MTPs in their hospitals. Government established hospitals or hospitals which are run by the government or private hospitals which are certified by the government can perform this procedure. A medical practitioner who has a degree in obstetrics and gynecology or who has a degree in a diploma in obstetrics and gynecology or a, a medical practitioner who has worked for at least six months as a house surgeon in uh, obstetrics and gynecology or who has performed at least 25 surgeries in a certified government institution and as a certificate of performing medical, uh, medical termination of pregnancy can perform this act. When you are a minor like less than 18 years of age, a legal guardian like your parents or somebody who is responsible for you has to sign the consent. A woman who is more than 18 years or an adult is herself sufficient to give the consent for the procedure. Husband or partner is not mandatory person. And there are some uh, there are some forms given by director of health services of the state which are to be filled and submitted to the government. Uh, then. Um, only registered medical practitioner can perform this procedure. Uh, in initial act in 1970, termination up to 20 weeks was possible, uh, in which more than 12 weeks, that is second trimester, two medical uh, practitioners' uh, opinion is to be taken. In less than uh, 12 weeks, that is first trimester abortion, only one medical practitioner's opinion was sufficient. In the recent amendments in 2021, which says that even unmarried pregnant uh, women can also go for the uh, uh, termination of pregnancy. Also, it uh, it was increased. The weeks of pregnancy was increased from 20 weeks to 24 weeks. Even a lady with a 24 weeks pregnancy, that is six months pregnancy, uh, uh, which is, who is a rape victim, can go for uh, um, termination of pregnancy. Or even uh, later, uh, six months, if a uh, scanning is showing to baby to have some anomalies, can terminate the pregnancy. In first trimester, that is up to 12 weeks of pregnancy, mostly medical methods are sufficient, medical methods are sufficient for termination of pregnancies. In this method, a patient when comes for the termination of pregnancy, we assess the patient fully, we do some blood evaluations, some scannings and uh, ask about 
personal histories, uh, any past uh, histories or any treatment she is taking or any diseases she is suffering from and accordingly uh, all the medications can be prescribed, all the advices can be given to the women and she can take the prescription at home and uh, or can be admitted to the hospital and take uh, take this medications under the supervision of the doctor. Mostly medical methods are sufficient for the termination of pregnancy. Only in cases where there is failed abortion or incomplete abortion, then we go for uh, surgical methods like suction and evacuation or uh, uh, manual vacuum aspiration. In both, uh, in both the cases, uh, the specimen can be retrieved and uh, sent for metabolic testing in which uh, you can even uh, see if in case of eugenic pregnancy, eugenic reasons like if the pregnancy is showing to have some anomalies, in those conditions you can take the sample in the surgical method and send it for metabolic testing where you can study why the uh, baby is having some anomalies or what is the anomaly that is there in the baby. Now in second trimester that is from 13 weeks to 24 weeks, uh, mostly we go for the combined methods in which uh, a patient is pre-treated with some medications and admitted in the hospital for dilatation and evacuation in 13-14 weeks. Later on uh, she can be uh, admitted, for, uh, otherwise she can be admitted for second trimester abortion in which she is given a high dose of oxytocin infusion. There are some other methods like hysterotomy or installation of hyperosmotic, intrauterine installation of hyperosmotic solutions, which is uh, less performed procedures. First of all, it is an illegal method to go for abortion. Second, when most of the reasons are covered in this act, there is no reason for a person to go for an illegal method of abortion in which the patient is not fully prepared about the process, she is not assessed properly and she can end up with more complications and she can end up threatening her life. So the answer is no. Usually, medical termination of pregnancy done under the supervision of a doctor is a safe process. Millions of people go through this process and they end up uh, very safely. But sometimes there could be some complications like for example, if the termination is incomplete or if you have very heavy bleeding or sometimes the pills don't work and you end up uh, being pregnant or continue the pregnancy or some infection is there, some blood clots left in the uterus or some allergies to the pills. All this can be usually managed if they are done under medical supervision. Under medical supervision, uh, if it is done very properly without any complication and if you don't end up with any complication, the future pregnancies is not affected. You don't have any risk of uh, a future pregnancy terminating or ectopic pregnancies or any low birth weight babies or any anomalies in the future pregnancies. Only if in case, uh, for example, if, if your future medical, uh, in your past medical termination, if you end up with some infections or if uh, you had to take up or we had to take you up for some surgeries, in that case there could be some risk, but mostly there is no risk. Mild pain or cramping like pain could be there. This is mainly because we are giving you pills for the for your uterus to contract in a cyclical uh, way so that the fetus or pregnancy is uh, expelled from the uterus. So there could be some pain uh, and there could be even nausea and vomiting but all these are mostly manageable and uh, when you go to a doctor he will properly explain you how is the uh, method, how what is going to happen, what drugs you should be taking uh, so that uh, all this things are usually covered and taken care of. So medical termination of pregnancy is a safe and effective method of uh, abortion and provided it is done under supervision of a medical uh, pro a practitioner under a good institute where it is certified by the government. Also uh, the risk of future pregnancies being hampered or secondary infertility is less. Also you should take care that most of the pregnancies, uh, pregnancy abortion is covered under this act. So instead of going illegally and getting aborted and ending up in a situation where you end up with more complication threatening your life, you should get, you should go to a doctor and get it aborted. So uh, uh, take a practical decision, think wise uh, of uh, really terminating a pregnancy and if you take a decision, think of where you want to get it aborted. Thank you. Thank you.